Well, good day, everyone. This is Chris with the Ancient Scholar. So now I'd like to talk about uh, two uh, types of terminology, and you often hear them, and sometimes they're confused. And I just want to go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and clear uh, clear it up. But it is something that you you be, you you hear quite a bit, and that is a concept of morbidity or the concepts of morbidity and mortality. They're related, but they mean very they have very different meanings. So. When we talk about mortality, mortality is death or uh, the end of life. Mortal, for example, I'm immortal. That that means that you know my life is finite. It's limited. Um, when we talk about mortality in terms of pathophysiology or disease state, what we mean is it's it's um, if a certain person gets a certain disease what are the chances of them dying from that disease? That's what the mortality measures. So if somebody gets a disease that has a very high mortality, that means that um, if you get it, the chances of dying from it are very high. How do we measure mortality? Generally what we do is we measure it in, in deaths per 1,000 people per year. So we'll say, hey, maybe we have something like the hantavirus. And it, it kills, and it, or not hantavirus, but um, Ebola. We'll say the Ebola virus. And we will say that um, the Ebola virus has 99.9, .9, et cetera, et cetera, mortality rate. And uh, maybe one of the measures would be that um, if a 1,000 people got uh, Ebola virus, 998 out of those 1,000 would die. That's a pretty darn high mortality rate. Now, let's say that there's a cold virus, um, a new cold virus that we found causes a cold. And um, out of a thousand people, two people per year would die. Well, that's not quite as bad. Yep, it still kills some people, but the mortality in that specific virus or that specific infection or that condition is a lot lower than the mortality in um, the Ebola that we talked about. Now, I don't know exactly what the numbers are. I just kind of made, made these numbers up. Um, but as long as you understand what they mean when they say mortality. Now, morbidity, on the other hand, morbidity is disease-causing. And basically what morbidity describes is it, it says, hey, if you are exposed to something, what are the chances that you get sick or you develop some sort of problem that doesn't necessarily cause death? That's what morbidity refers to. So, let's say that we have that cold, that new cold virus, and 99.99% um, .99 of the, the people that are exposed to it, they come and they get sick. They get the cold, and they have to deal with the cold for a few days. Well, that has a really high morbidity, but the mortality is very low. So certain diseases or certain conditions can have really high morbidity and really low mortality, or in some cases they can have really high morbidity, really high mortality, or in other cases they can have really low morbidity and really low mortality. It really kind of depends. How do we measure morbidity? Well, Morbidity is a bit more nebulous. There are lots of different things we can do to look at morbidity. Um, you'll hear about them later on. Things like Apache scores and the Glasgow Coma score and the, the SOFA and the PIM2 measurements. There are lots of different ways we can measure morbidity. Um, because morbidity changes. Uh, if somebody has a head injury, for example, uh, you know, a morbidity, an indicator of morbidity we might look at is well, how is their mental status? And if that's the case, then we would be measuring the Glasgow Coma Scale. It's a measure of the level of consciousness and how they interact and move and all that. That would be a measure of morbidity with a head injury. Um, if somebody is really sick in the ICU and they've developed septic shock, they have an overwhelming infection and they're dying um, from that infection, and we'll probably talk about septic shock a little later on, um, we may use something called the Apache score to, to, to find out what their morbidity is. And, and sometimes that can cross over. If, let's say that um, you know, uh, their Glasgow coma scale was really low, 
Well, that is significant morbidity, but it's also associated with significant mortality. So you can see there's some crossover there. But morbidity refers to a disease state. That can be you know, having a cold, having a low blood pressure, having a high heart rate, um, being in a lot of pain, uh, being crippled, what have you. Um, mortality refers to, hey, is this thing going to kill me or not? So that's the big difference between morbidity and mortality. Okay, guys, take care.